Hello and welcome to Barbershop Book Story Time. Today's story is a classic, which means this story has been around for a long time and lots of people think it's kind of cool. Today's story is called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Whew, that's a lot of words. That's a long title, but it tells us a lot about this book. And if you look really closely, you can tell from Alexander's face that he is not having a good day. So let's get started. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Wow. From the second he got out of bed, it seemed like he was already having a bad day. Well, let's look at the picture. There's the Alexander, and he does not look happy. Do you see his skateboard? It's right here. That's what he tripped on. And if you look really closely, you can see his sweater in the sink. I don't know if the water's on, but his sweater is definitely in the sink. No one wants a soggy sweater. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was cereal. Oh, man. So I guess like his brothers, they all found like cool toys in their cereal box. But Alexander, nada, nothing, just cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. <laughs> That's what he said. And here he is. The other two boys are really happy about what they found in their cereal. And Alexander, well, he found nothing, so he's not very happy at all. And here he is, thinking that maybe he'll move to Australia. I've actually been to Australia, and it's very, very far away. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. Hmm. I said I was being scrunched. Scrunched is like you're being squished. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to get car sick. Do you know what it means if someone gets car sick? It's like, I guess because of the movement of the car, People, someone starts to feel woozy and their stomach starts to kind of feel yucky. And then the next thing you know, if someone feels car sick, they usually will throw up. Oh man, that's not good. No one even answered. Uh-oh. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Man, so now in the carpool, which just means that there are other people in the car. Carpooling is something that people do to help the environment because instead of someone taking maybe two cars or three cars, if they're going to the same place, if they carpool, everyone will just ride together in one car. And that way, you save gas, you save the environment. It's super great. I wonder what else is gonna happen. 
Oh, look at the other kids who got to sit by the car, by the window. They're looking out at all the cool stuff that they see outside. For those of you who are just tuning in, we're reading today for Barbershop Book Storytime, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And let me just tell you, Alexander, he is not having a good day. At school, Mrs. Dinkins liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. Invisible castle? That sounds kind of cool. And look, there's his teacher. Do you see Alexander? He's right here. And there are other students in his class. At singing time, she said, I sang too loud. At counting time, she said that I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Man, Alexander, he is not having a good day. Have you ever had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day? I think I've had a few days like that before. I could tell because Paul and I wasn't his best friend anymore. Oh, Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. I read that sentence wrong. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and Albert Moyo was his next best friend and I was only his third best friend. Man. Yeah, that doesn't make you feel good. And look, there are, I guess, his friend with his number one friend and his number two friend. How do you think that makes Alexander feel? I don't think he feels happy. It probably makes him feel really sad if he's not someone's best friend anymore. I hope you sit on a tech, I said to Paul. That's not nice. That is not a nice thing for Alexander to say. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off your cone and lands in Australia. That's not a nice thing to say to someone that you want to be your friend. He said that he hopes that he gets a double-decker ice cream cone and the ice cream falls off onto the ground. Oh, man, that's a horrible thing to say to someone. Alexander is not having a nice, a good day, but he's also not being very nice to some of the people that he knows. Look, there's Alexander. Let's see what else happens on this horrible day. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in their dessert? Oh no! I, I think he was really sad. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And look at the other kids, super excited about the dessert that they found in their lunch. And then look at Alexander. Well, he is not happy because he doesn't have any dessert in his lunch. But all the other kids have dessert. For those of you who are just tuning in, Today, for Barbershop Book Storytime, we're reading Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And Alexander, he is not having a good day. That's what it is. 
because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fill it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. Alexander keeps saying that. He says that he wants to go to Australia because he's having such a really bad day. So here's a picture uh, from the dentist's office. And do you see Alexander? Well, he's the one who's kind of not feeling good because he just found out that he has a cavity and he's going to have to come back the next week to get it filled. You do not want a cavity if you eat a lot and a lot and a lot of candy and you don't brush your teeth every day, well, you can get a cavity and then the dentist will have to fill it. Wow, Alexander is really having a bad day. Let's see what happens next. Oh man, on the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting, for my mom to go to the car, Anthony made me fall where the, oh man, where it was muddy. And then I started crying because of the mud. Nick said I was a crybaby. Oh man, there's a lot of horrible stuff happening. His foot got closed in the elevator? Oh my goodness, that does not sound good at all. And then... Alexander fell into some mud. Oh no, when he gets up, do you know what's gonna be all over his pants? Mud! And nobody wants mud all over their pants. That is not good. Alexander is having a pretty bad day. While I was punching Nick, for saying crybaby, oh, that's not good. My mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. You're not supposed to be muddy and you're not supposed to be fighting. Definitely not. That's not safe at all. And look, they got caught. Or Alexander got caught fighting with his brother and then he got in trouble. His mom was not happy. Do you have any siblings like a brother or a sister? If you do, I hope that you don't fight with them. And here's what Alexander said. Oh, I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told that to everybody. No one even answered. And here he is. He is frustrated because he's having such a bad day. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. I wonder what kind of shoes Alexander is going to pick. Do you think he'll pick like red shoes? or yellow shoes or blue shoes, maybe shoes that have like, I don't know, stars on them or stripes on them or air bubbles. I don't know, let's find out. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. These are sounding like maybe there's some cool shoes. I chose blue ones with red stripes, but then the shoe man said, the shoe man said, we're all sold out. Oh man, the shoes that Alexander wanted, they were all sold out, meaning there were no more of those shoes in the store. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. Oh man, the shoes that Alexander wanted, they were all sold out. And so he ended up having to get plain white shoes. But guess what? He still got new shoes. Who doesn't like new shoes? I like new shoes. As a matter of fact, 
right over here. You can't see it, but I have a ton of shoes. Okay, let's see what happens next in Alexander's horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, man. You, let me just tell you. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with the copying machine, but I forgot. Uh-oh. What do you think is going to happen if he starts playing with the copy machine? He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as I could, but except for my elbow. Oh, man. His elbow must have hit something. He also said, don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. Australia? Do you know how far Australia is? It's like really, 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 really far. So if you call Australia, I think that costs a lot of money. I don't think his dad is going to be happy about any of this at all. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. Oh, no. He didn't want, his dad didn't want him to bring him to his office anymore because he was getting in so much trouble. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And look at all the different things that happened on his dad's desk. I think he turned over some ink that his dad was using to write. The copying machine, do you see all of these papers? They're spewing out everywhere. There's paper flying all over the office. There are pencils that are turned over. There's a lot of different things going on here. I don't think Alexander meant to do it, but he did everything that his dad told him not to do. Yeah, I don't think his dad was very happy about everything. Ooh, one of his brothers is eating ice cream. It kind of makes me want to eat some ice cream, but it's kind of still the morning, so you're not supposed to eat ice cream in the morning. Would you eat ice cream in the morning? I hope not. <laughs> There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on the TV. Ew! And I hate kissing. Oh, man. Look at it. Look at Alexander. And I don't know if we can see. Nah, it's too it's too, like, granular to see the lima beans. I can't really see them. But I believe him. If he says there are lima beans for dinner, then that's what they're eating. And it looks like everyone else is eating their lima beans except Alexander. Why do you think Alexander isn't eating his lima beans? Well, he kind of told us. What did he say? He said that he hates lima beans. Well, today for Barbershop Book Storytime, we're reading Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And let me just tell you, Alexander, he's been having a horrible, horrible day. It seemed like nothing is going right. Everything in his day is going wrong. Even... He saw kissing on the TV, and he hates that. Look, he's going, yuck, right? Because it's, like, so gross. Man, can his day get any worse? It seemed like everything bad has already happened. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. Oh, man, this is really a horrible day. And I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. Man, nothing is going right for Alexander.
He got soap in his eyes. The water was too hot. And then he had to wear pajamas that he doesn't like. His railroad pajamas. Actually, do I even... Yeah, I do have a pair of pajamas, but I guess I don't wear them often. Maybe I should get me some railroad train pajamas. I don't know. Maybe. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said that I could keep. And Mickey Mouse... And a Mickey Mouse nightlight? It burned out and I bit my tongue. Oh, man. His day just keeps getting worse and worse. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. And look, here he is in his bed thinking about how horrible his day has been going. Do you see Alexander? He's thinking in his bed. And look, here's his brothers. They look like they're asleep. Oh. <laughs> you know what? He told his mom that Alexander told his mom that he was having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And his mom says that some days are like that, even in Australia. And that's the end of the story. So even if he moved to Australia, it would be possible that maybe he might still have a bad day sometime. And guess what? We all have bad days sometimes, but hopefully you have someone like your parents or friends or even your siblings like your brother or sister who maybe even if you're having a bad day, they can cheer you up. Well, thank you so much for listening to Barbershop Book Storytime. If you want to learn more information about Barbershop Books, you can visit our website, barbershopbooks.org. Or you can connect with us on social media at Barbershop Books. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye.